bit of a ruse though. You can see them just trying to take some attention away from the A side. It's gonna be Crims and JW. Lying in wait towards the A side. Crims may be caught out of position. The flashbang's effective. They drop a player down towards spawn. That's electronic removed though. And JW now got a bit of a shooting gallery in front of him. He has been so active and yet zero ADR. He's been shot at. He's been on every part of the map. Simple, however, with a P250 Kevlar. A gift for him to find two. He actually upgrades in a way to the USP, but the bullets aren't connecting, chipping away, and JW will finally fall. Two remaining for the Swedes as Golden. Full on HP, Brolin. He's gonna get chipped away at, and that's a lovely take from Nav. Not looking for kills necessarily, trying to do as much damage as he can. You can set up your teammates with those CZs, but it's the first kill for Simple. Looking like he's very sharp today, Alex. On the cross of the doors, Golden unable to make it to B, which does put Brolin in a rather tough circumstance of solo holding, but he opts for aggression. Perfecto, he'll note that. What can they do in response here? Fnatic with a backs to the wall here. Grims, he will sit in the smoke. It's a bit of a common Ooh. play these days. You don't usually get two lovely headshots like that, though. And his flasher coming through the smoke as well. This round starting to collapse on Arby here. It's going to be a three versus two. Simple and flamey remain. They have the bomb and control of the A site, but a three on two deficit here. Bomb to be planted, two players in CT spawn, flamey to cover. Simple hasn't missed many shots so far, two to his name already in this particular round, and down he goes finally. Remove is down to just simple here, and surely nothing can be done. What a fantastic round from Crims especially. Flamey, holding the long doors, looking for any sort of CT response, pushing in towards those doors. That is going to be Flusher. Crims from short does find the first skull. No utility remaining now, 20 seconds as well. JW just trying to hold them at bay. Look at him, he just pulls himself back under cover, but perhaps a little too greedy. Lesser weapons in form of the Galil and the FAMAS doesn't look good for the retake here at all. Crims will have to do something unspeakable once again here as the time ticks away. He'll have to look towards long, nail a shot. His teammate throws that flashbang <laughs> and needs a quick headshot. It was a decent effort to say the very least. Couldn't quite find the head though. That's going to be round for Na'Vi. It looked like it was a great advantage there for Fnatic, but doesn't convert. Proland with three kills in the end. Game versus Renegades isn't going to be all too telling, but versus Na'Vi, we get to see if those 78 days between their last LAN events, it's going to haunt them in any way, shape or form. Looks pretty damn good from there where I'm sitting as a nade lands in the top pocket of Electronic and another one straight afterwards, Magnetic. It does look helpless. You can see those three bodies littering long. And towards A they go from short. Can't quite find a single opportunity. There it is, through the smoke is the only way Simple could find something in order to make damage into this round. 30 seconds though, he's not gonna be in any rush to charge on in and take those double peaks. Instead, just hoping Golden gets a little too anxious. From behind, Brolin waits and he's making that FAMAS look deadly. Get JW in the corner and it is a successful boost. Needs to try and get Crims out there. He is low and Perfecto, he could get a double kill here. This could fall apart very quickly. You'll see the barrel of the orb first. We'll see whether he gets the drop on JW, which he does. Can he get both? <gasps> Absolutely can. Whoa, you called it huge from Perfecto. Patience to watch that tunnels push. He's had nothing to report in the B tons until now. But look at what it has done. Flusher Crims, they're so low from the early engagements as well. This site should be theirs. The only man that can say anything is the hero of Fnatic. He's got 16. He needs to find at least 18. And already the first added to the tally. Boom, it's a challenge. They're going to double peak. And Crims is still going. He's made it slightly winnable. Flusher's got no HP, but he's getting away. And now all onto what looks to be Flamey, tucked in on the bricks. Golden has full HP. Flamey's done enough to at least find the first. The transfer's not there. And Fnatic, they will take it. Fnatic solid form and puts Na'Vi into the circumstances you see before us. Five men gathered at short. JW lying in wait and misses the first. Is he really going for a double peek? That's ballsy as hell and still gets away with it. Barrel to the belly of Electronic, traded by Flamey into the site. A chance though for Na'Vi. Here come the CTs though. And for short, perfecto. Exceptional deagle shots and simples doing the same. And Na'Vi with only the pistols looking poised to collect this one. Flusher, yes, he's got a kit, but three standing on the site. He's going to have to wait for Simple to put his head in his crosshair, but time just is not on his side. Boomage with the rifle converts. Now, will they be smoking the corner or going for a contact play? I like this. Simple just going to set up a nice flashbang once again. Flusher will respond, but unfortunately, unable to land any damage whatsoever. The FAMAS not dealing enough whatsoever. It's going to be JW isolated towards the A site. He's not got much to work with here at all. He's got an M4, no grenades. Surely this round falls apart. Golden will get one back. Brolan, a scrappy kill towards the short area. Which JW with a bit of time here, but the Krieg has been found, and this is his signature weapon. Brolan and the Krieg, and you see exactly why first head found. 
jumping away in enough to at least extend the round enough for JW's antics. You talked about the smoke tank and in the smoke he lies and JW does find one. Simple, 15 seconds. Bomb has to be planted. That pressure is on him, trying to draw the fire. Repositioning all the way to ramp. JW doesn't even need to move. He's loving it. Brolan, little bit of a fluff of his lines, but still a nod of affirmation. He knows he's done it. Seven for Fnatic. Smoke towards the mid doors. It's one further to the left, often combined with a second. We'll see. That's when you know they're committing. I said it before. Then you can actually have an educated guess. They're going for it. One smoke suggests it's a fake. This certainly isn't, though. It's going to be Brolan and Golden working in tandem here, flashing them off, swinging together. It's another B finish from Narby with 30 seconds on the clock. They've got an access point now. Golden, though, has been very strong on this side of the map. He's looking like he's going to close things out. No problem at all. It's a four versus one of Flamey on 16 points of foul. Flusher, he can get away with this one. That's absolutely fine. Double digits for Fnatic here as we end the half. It's going to be a fast mid approach potentially with three towards lower B. Simple. He's actually waiting towards short. In that smoke, he can hear them actually flooding towards the doors at this point. Does he pull off some heroics here? Time will tell. Electronic will kick things off in style though. The PD Bowser delivering. He'll get the first kill, but Golden's there to back things up. Every choice you make. Oh, Golden might be buggered here, Alex. Yeah, it doesn't look good. I like the, the, the Hail Mary flashbang. Yeah. Hoping his bullets would connect with uh, the dual white screen, but not to be. Instead, advantage, Na'Vi. Well, JW is going to try and make up for it. Oh, my goodness. Didn't see that coming at all. Assumed he was in the pit. And it's going to be Crims at least bringing the round back into contention. We'll see whether this split from long will be enough here. You can see Simple feeling the pressure. Flashbang will assist him to fall back towards the site and actually buys him a little bit of time here. 35 seconds on the clock, and a Fnatic will have to readjust and see what they can do next. Flush has got through the mid doors at least. They can pretty much assume there'll be one player towards the B side, so that makes the most sense. They've got no smoke for spawn, though. They've got a quick kill if possible. Flusher gets it. Now B really will be the objective. They know where they both are. 1A, 1B, and can put their numbers together towards the latter. Yeah. Amy. This is going to have to be a precise shot to Crims. Doesn't hand the first or the second, and Crims long range and eight seconds left. It should just be enough time to get across. Five, four on the nose as the bomb does go down. Simple, you said restrain. Let's see if his survival will pay off. Tags off one just on the cross flusher. He is being such a nuisance. <laughs> it's making me very anxious. I have to say, <laughs> you're playing a dangerous game there against Simple, my friend. Well, he has got a kid available to him, and we'll see if we can get the first kill. Apparently not. It's going to be Flusher shutting him down there. It will be the contact play. One player coming for the mid doors for rotations, but a good position there from Perfecto. Watch out for him. It is often Molotov, but he can do a lot with this. Tucked in on the corner, and they have already got two through. Flame, he's drawing their attention, and more than that, he's fragged to two of them and taking it in turns. Double for both of the B players. That's one way to defend the site. Uh, he, was, he was at the back taking all that aggro, but managed to get a couple of kills and just set Perfecto up for a double spray down of his own. Goal to find our kill. It'd be something does significant damage towards Electronic, but can't convert it. One smoke, some Molotovs here. But still, Na'Vi are doing a good job, at least holding on to short. They can't give both up. Can't, but Electronic caught through the smoke, and Crimson's bullets weren't far off either. Symbol's getting chipped away at the Molotov's good too, burnt down to 40. And JW was set up in pit, this is his first, but Brolan quick to aid his teammates on the cross. Simple missing a shot, and that's all they needed. Flusher can punish that mistake, and then some, a double as he drops down CT. Perfecto. Newest addition to the Na'Vi roster and has three to find to stop that match point from being secured. Don't think he's got a chance now. The loud shots of the M4A4 rattle off from CT spawn and uh, he might be done for here. That's going to be 15 to 7. That's lovely from Simply. Jumping for the info, Boomich actually did a lovely job of seeing two bodies there. And now Flamey will be baited in, but it looked like the transfer would have been perfect. JW doing the work for him. Fnatic, they have the advantage now, access to long. And catching them is Flusher on the rotate, but still the AWP in mid. Fine. Crims has the Krieg as well, so this cross, you see why Perfecto is crouching. There's a reason for that. Covered by the baskets, but it doesn't stop Crims hitting the shots and Fnatic secure Na'Vi's map pick. They didn't really turn up on their map pick at all. So I echo his sentiments and Simple looking to cause absolute carnage at the start of CZ with armor as well. They invested a lot into him there, Alex, and he gets nothing done at all. Oh, $11.50 just thrown immediately down to the battlefield. Simple gone, squandered a heavy investment into this round. Aggression caught by the two players 
wet, ready and waiting on those team rounds. This is a boost. Yeah, likely a run boost straight in. Golden, he does manage to draw the fire and then some. How did he get the shot? I swear he was looking at the ground. Doesn't matter. More to come. Flusher and Flamey all connecting in one <laughs> burst of frags and it's a team ace. No issues. All players from Fnatic left standing. That's that's fair enough. You need to you need to keep up. The game's changing every single day. If you feel like you've found it's a bit of a slump, you have to change things up. Simple will be doing just that. Repositioning towards middle. Simple, gonna get a couple there. Looks like he's lined up quite nicely. Swims out, nails the first shot. Looking for that second, there it is. Enough done now, doesn't need to give up the AWP. Round should be here. Golden, however, accelerating, trying to catch Perfecto's flank off, and that's lovely from the in-game leader. Fragging in-game leaders, it really is it's the year of them. Blame, Nexa, all impressing in recent memory. Yeah, good point. I don't think that holds much weight anymore. Oh, he's an in-game leader. He's not yeah. going to frag that much. I don't think that's going to work. Like, the game's getting crazy in terms of individual skill. Like, I don't think that's, that's a bit of a cop-out. Gone another day. Alone towards B for now. Roland's going to have to get his skates on and get that bomb. It looks like a B split for respawn to me. A banana split, if you will, Alex. Extra creamy. Mm. Hundreds of thousands? Yes. I hope. <laughs> it might be. So here it comes. Through CD spawn they go. They have no idea. There's still three players towards the CT side. They just get one kill for the smoke here. That's going to be it. He pushes through the flames and Ooh. he gets taken down by them. Really hasn't got well. Gets one kill, but that unfortunately is the round. Thankfully, so they can't just lose both parts of the map at this point. Let's see if they can hold on to it. It's in Perfecto for his early utility, and he'll be rotating in towards A, especially considering the amount of noise and players. Bullets as well. Simple draws the fire oh. and electronic. A secondary cursory bullet thrown into Crims as he drops off the balcony. Golden and Flusher with their nades combined. There's two smokes and a flash, a Molotov as well. Golden's going to use everything they can, all the tools in the arsenal to give it a good go, but landing rather soft. It's Boomich to lock them out. JW tagged up and trying to stop that AWP from being touched. Nice. Much better from Na'Vi there. Proactive at the start of the round, challenging and pushing them back, not just letting them have full control of the map here. And it ends up with a clean sheet. The first one they're going to post, unless JW has anything to say about it, which he won't. Post Molotov, Gordon will extinguish. So we're now seeing the usual protocols. Boomich towards the sandbags, like a moth to the flame. And indeed, does bring him down just a little bit. Still trying to overstay his welcome. He really wanted to fight that. See what I mean? He always wants to be in the sandbags position. Like, fair enough, he stayed alive for quite an impressive amount of time there. But this is against a low buy, and he's just given them a kill where no one can trade it. Like, no one can do anything about that to help you out. Now, Molly's are failing, and the nades from Fnatic, quite the opposite, lands on Flamey's noggin, puts it all onto Electronic to defend B. Shortening clock. So he's come in and thrown a smoke, and he's going to walk back towards A, hoping that's enough to funnel them back towards the bigger bomb site, which makes sense. Unfortunately, it's not going to be translated here. Electronic will do his best to block the smoke. He's actually done a reasonable job, and he'll go towards Emo here. He needs two kills. Nothing else will do. There's the first. Oh, that's three. My goodness. Oh, that's actually huge. He could actually win the round now off that. GW, he's already three frags deep, and that Molly's heading towards new box. Nobody's home, though. That's going to continue to rot the clock, and I think Na'Vi running out of options. Certainly now Golden's hit that shot. Electronic, he did everything he could to overcome the odds, but it's Fnatic to secure and seal the sixth. Fine, it's Flamey. Look to catch someone unawares, and JW does fall. Still challenging, misses the shot, and is immediately traded. Flusher did well to catch the bullets on the cross, but my goodness, they're both taking a great deal of damage from that Molotov. And they hold on to it. Boomage towards the coffin position. Simple looking to throw a few more bodies into it. There's a, there it is. That's a perfect shot off the flashbang, and it sets up Boomage in a spectacular manner. This is looking more promising now for Na'Vi. Bombs down, four versus one. Smoke towards spawn. Crim's just going to try and inflict any sort of financial damage he can. If you can get a plan, that'd be great. The money is going to be completely wrecked after this. That was like one of those reaction speed tests. Like, yeah. click when your, mouse, when your screen turns white. Boop! Or black in this case, sometimes. Yeah, can be. <laughs> if it happens, it's you white casting. <laughs> it's such a challenge. Hard mode commentary. Um, four on one, Crims will be at least getting the bomb down here. That's okay for Na'Vi. Like, they don't want to sacrifice a few players. That could have been a fake plan. Let them get it down. Close it out together. And they're going to do this. Pinpoint precision. Simple's already staring at him. He hits that in one. Never mind. A good spray will dissuade Simple. And three CTs aggressively vying for control of the banana, but at what cost? The Molotov's actually locked him in there. If this fight comes in, there's no retreat. And through the flames, Golden took the risk and found the frag. Advantage T-side. This, this is a very simple-esque play. Not many players do this, and we don't scream, what is he doing? Oh, and the no-scope misses. That's the punishment. Yeah. That's why there's doubt. Sure, like, he's more than likely going to hit that no-scope most of the time, but if it ever misses, he's done for, right? He can't do anything about that. 
Whoever gets this one might be picking up the last two. That means an awful lot. Flamey, great first blood, just on the edge of the wall. JW's brains now splattered around Banana. It doesn't dissuade his teammates. Golden following in his footsteps, Flusher in tow. And the 90 second mark, we are seeing a re deployment of Ow. utility towards Banana. Brolin caught by Simple. Oh, and he's got the support of Perfecto through the smoke, finds his second fragger of this map. It's been quiet from the new RV player. Oh, and the teamwork, dream work, slowed down by Perfecto spray. Simple catching Golden on that pallet to just catch an angle over the smoke. Yeah, flash up. Not going to have much of a chance here. Flamey and Simple starting to look a lot sharper here. They do tie things up once again at 7 7. Partnership to defend A, and the nades start to barrage into B, and this time Fnatic. Boomage as well. You can see a bit of a fake being set up here by Flusher. Normally so happy to be alone towards B, and once again he will be. He's going to be smoking towards the coffins, flashing over, just keeping two players towards B. For the meanwhile, though, it's going to be the apartments, the main focal point of the round. Simple has to hit a couple of shots again. The first one rattles by, goes down low as well. He can't really be as combative now. And through the smoke, he will be dropped. JW actually with a wraparound towards Arch there. So it's now a four versus two. The other two players towards B because Flusher was holding them on that side of the map. They surely can't do anything with this perfecto left and a four versus one now. Oh, what a lovely way to pick up that frag onto Boom. It's just that fade away headshot through the wall immediately drawing his attention to the corner for JW to take that frag down mid. Well, Perfecto, what have you got for us? The the time is ticking oh, away, I'm afraid. They know exactly where he is. Just going to be padding stats at this point. 8-7. Now we're seeing two uh, is a little bit different. That's going to be in the hands of Crims towards B. Great shot from Brolan. Perfect weapon for the job as well, Alex. Flusher with a dumpster of a grenade, but it's not going to be enough. They will lose a frag. They'll have to drop the smoke. Will it buy enough time, though? They might commit through this, which they will. The flashbang's very good, though. He's running out of bullets, but he has got the kill. CT's coming in now. CZ, not the best at range, but Boomich getting the job done, and it's going to be this CT kill that might decide their fate. Two versus two now. No kit available as of yet, and it's a pretty awkward plan as well. Kit found. Yeah, Flush is working with that, but he's the one that's furthest from the site. He's going to have to change his plan. Does clear out Emo. Knows there's one construction, and he's starting to stick it. Holding this is JW. Boomich gets the necessary frag, though the bomb and the kit are connected, but no time. And despite the headshot, Na'Vi will equalize. That's the pistol of Inferno going the way of those that picked it. There's two towards B. Flash up, looking to get another big HE in. A little bit early on that one, but still the CZ could cause a massive amount of damage here. There's the first flashbang from Flash for a system as well. Goal number two, can he get the third? Surely not. Finally, silence there. We will see Simple upon the ball in the same spot, but it's through the smoke. Flusher emerges, and he will be looking for his third kill here. He might have done enough to win the round. He absolutely has. Flusher in this banana position. He just has a greater read on it than anyone else, in my opinion. T side, CD side, always good to go. Here in the other side, the flashbangs. Well, they flashed themselves there. Look, there's no assist coming through. They came through with the flashbang dance. They flashed each other, and it's led them to a 4-1. and one. That is a disaster from Na'Vi. Yeah, Fnatic will punish you every single time for those sort of mistakes. That was a big round as well. They can't even force into this one. About 100 damage deployed there with another H. Let's check in with the utility damage. Great shot from Flamey there. So Flush is a 435 utility damage. Everyone else hovering around 100. Golden at 286. So they're really just hammering them down with the HEs every single round. Feels like Flush is dominating, but 12 frags to his name. Middle of the pack and a great but, catch. Yeah, but like you said, though, that utility damage doesn't need kills. He's winning them rounds. Every single time, someone from Na'Vi has to work with an awkward amount of health. Good double from Golden, but into the sight, Boomich does manage to get, and a scavenged winnable. weapon as well. Yeah, winnable. Aggressive Molly to Emo all the way from construction, but there's Boomich and another one. You said winnable. You've got the faith. No armor necessary. Boomich, three kills to his name. Perfecto's even found a rifle in the meantime. Flush is completely focused on that. And Na'Vi, they needed that. A Hail Mary win from their new in-game leader. Already got the incendiary down, so caught himself some time. Strong flash over the top. It does make things a little bit more complicated. But a lot of... Here comes the pincer. Body of the assault from Quad, and if Crims gets this timing right, he can exploit them. Brolin charging into apartment, bomb already loose, leaving the hands of Boomish. And JW doesn't finish with one, takes a second before sent to the grave. And with nine seconds and 13 HP, Simple can do nothing. But significantly less teammates with him on this one, but just a flash and a spray. It's quite obvious now. The fact he's fired shots there, they're going to have to commit off this one. It's a 4B assault. 
A stack towards the new boxes here. Will they detect the second player? Boomer to but hasn't got the time or the space to take him down. Three versus two. Might be considering a save here. We have got one player at the very top. JW's found them an access point. It is going to be both players coming in from this side of the map. And they have got a very strong setup on the Na'Vi side. Perfecto and simple. And the latter up high, waiting to get that first kill. Rollins begging him to wait for his flashbang. You could see he was falling back to try and set, line something up, but instead, a Molotov retrieved towards the Emo Forces. The fight! Simple's ready for that fight. A third frag in the round, 21 total. Fnatic. Historical organization in this game. I think at one point, the CZ was in their logo. And now four of them in the server for the squad. Good push from... He's making his way up towards B. A change though. Electronics the one with the bomb on his back, and he's at the very bottom. Right? They're not committed just yet. But 25 seconds, they've got to make their mind up. Yeah, they do seem a little indecisive, and Golden's got one and managed to get away with the MP9. What's the reaction? It seems a little shaken. Two of those players have got low HP, and there's low time on the clock as well. 15 seconds. Golden's playing it so well. Just surviving is integral to the success of his team. Eight seconds. Where's that bomb? Perfecto. Crucial into CT. Bomb down, courtesy of Electronic, and there is nothing that Crims can do. Na'Vi, they stem the bleed. Ooh, it was getting a little bit hairy towards the end of that round, but overall it looks like it's going to be a safe one. As we'll see, Crims, the last player remaining here, he's now got a Krieg, and no longer has a head. Still three CTs invested at the 30 second mark. Now Smoke's pluming on A, and Flusher, he's getting a wiggle on. Realizing his assistance may be needed, second guessing himself all the time. JW and Brolin about to be tested in a very big way. One, not enough. It has to be more. And it's only JW with a FAMAS. A long fight versus Simple. He shouldn't have a chance. But now JW does connect onto Perfecto. Flusher arrives just in the nick of time. Quite awkward, but at eight seconds is enough time to get that bomb planted. This is another huge round here. Boomish down to three points of health. Still alive and kicking here on the bomb site. And it will have. The MP9 coming in from the apartments here. Have they got any flashes? Not at all. So it's going to be down to timing here, whether they can actually flush Electronic out. And Electronic's now going to be busy with Golden. If he can stay alive just a little longer, that makes Boomich's job all the more difficult. Once they take Boomich out, that should be it. You'd think, but he's still alive. How is he not dead? Finally, they find him, Crims. Boomich, the Live Lord, it will just be one. They have got the time for the defuse. Fnatic win the retake to secure a magnificent 14th. I mean, that's finally breaking back against Na'Vi. Chunks aside, Roland does look like he's going to be flashed in for a re-aggression and simple. So quick on the trigger. Playing his reaction game again. We'll lead the charge towards B. I think that it's going off this flashbang. Flusher eats it. But here comes a flash in return. He can actually swing off this. Needs a quick kill. That might be enough, and that certainly will be. Four versus two now, but Simple's still alive and well. Flamey hits a great shot. Gets them right back in the round now. Three versus two. Bomb to be planted. It has to go down right now. Flash to go in. Do they commit off this or wait? His first challenge. GW passes it. Flying colors a second, and the third is on his way. It's the king of kings. It's Crims. 1v2. No issue for Simple. Four kills in one of the most crucial rounds of this game so far. There are three nades here. If we see some similar scenes to what we've already witnessed here on Inferno, those pistols will do a good chunk of damage. Nades to follow up could be deadly, but I mean, this is a Na'Vi fully armed to the teeth. Nade does very little. Simple's looking for that fight. He is burning just a little bit of sound cue for Golden to try and punish and tags up Electronic down to 47, but... This isn't even a commitment with the bomb. They're just going hunting. If you be careful. There's a player at the back there. Let's just flush up. P250 in hand. Simple's got CT spawn. More promising situation for Na'Vi, that's for sure. It's letting him go by. Just uh, get under the skin. Simple, simple. You've been punished for this before. He goes for the stab. <laughs> you <laughs> cheeky me. boy. It's 14-14. This is Kanavita Simple. You've really got to be cool. Yeah, his teammate went down for that knife. I uh, hope it was worth it. Like, they're going to win the round regardless, but still. Um, it always scares me when he pulls out that knife. He always seems to pick his moments. Yep. Well, he uh, he calculated it. He knew it was safe. The back was turned for a while. There was no steps behind him, but regardless, Na'Vi will secure the 15th and a new lease of life for them found. Unfortunately, like, if you if you let him get a kill, like, the humiliation aspect of it is completely removed at that point. It's not like you've owned him. You've let him get a kill, then you've knifed him in a quite a scrappy way right. as well. Yeah. <laughs> you've really, you got a really clean, like, backstab on him. That's cool. Like, that would annoy him. But uh, that probably wouldn't. If anything, he's going to pay off his death to the P250. Early damage Flush was seen inflicting before. In fact, he's the one to get a good catch on it. 
His FAMAS catches, so does his nade. Bullets there. Golden's nade on top, and Electronic's gone. We said it had to be some early damage. Well, there it is. One body from Na'Vi dropped before you could really see anyone on Banana. Good catch from Crims. Now they need to fall back. Hold the crossfires. But still the CT's divided. Still Fnatic stand 2-2. Two, two, vigilant split. 20 seconds. They're going towards quad. Perfecto's going to try and swing in from the back. Another great shot. The new boy might save the day here. Crims just wants one. It's not going to happen. It's a hat trick for Perfecto. This might be enough to close out the map. A five on three. Now a three on two in favor of Na'Vi. It's at the Golden and Flusher. No kits, remember. Perfecto oh, has wow. carried them through the round. The third map is pretty much guaranteed at this point. Nothing can be done. And Perfecto saves the round out of absolutely nothing. It doesn't matter how many frags. Eight frags in 29 rounds. It's those three. Yeah that secure it for Na'Vi. Simple will close it. Well, here we go then. Fnatic on the T side. Smoke's already deployed. It will be an A finish here. Quick commitment of the smoke down towards jungle and the steps. Flashes to go over and a Desert Eagle to lead the charge and it. find the headshot as well. This is absolutely sensational from Fnatic. They found three kills. The bomb's gonna go down. Call it done. As we have Perfecto and Electronic remaining, they've got no kit, no utility. Need to find a couple of kills to even have a say in the round. JW has just stood on top of that default boost and has put 40 bullets into that corner waiting for Electronic to move. He hasn't and continues to stand in the very same spot that JW was trying to suppress. He chooses to just have a little look and wow. He should be having a bit more moral support and kind of helping everyone out, but each their own. Pinch of salt as well. In the same interview, Simple said he was hoping for three knives. True, true. So Simple, speak of the devil, has managed to find the first of Brolan. Crossing out towards Ramp and Aid, landing on the head of Golden as well, has made this round look very difficult for Fnatic. And JW, he thought he has the element of surprise, but Simple, he caught a glimpse of him just as he leaped into the smoke and now he can punish. The Wonder Child forced to watch as just two members of his squad remain. Make a sound cue. And that's Marvin Flame, not shooting out the vent. He doesn't really have to watch that position anymore, but Simple spots him from spawn. Swings around, and that's going to be a four versus one now. Flash is hoping to get a bomb down if possible. With 10 seconds remaining, he might be able to. There's no reason why I wouldn't swing here. And they better. They might just want him to bleed the clock out now as we get no money going forward. He knows it as well. He'll just go for a plant. Boom, we'll have to swing again. They've let him plant. He's done it. He gets that's himself. Kind of ridiculous. Okay, if he wins this now, that was a bit of a misplay from Na'Vi. This heavy mid lean from Na'Vi CT side. It's got them double digits, back to back, double digit CT sides. But they did raise the question. You, can you exploit Perfecto Solo B? That's the thing. He was very quiet in the second map, and he's continued to be silenced here by Brolan. Great shot that Kree. Can't replicate his form from Dust 2 and get the double. Oh, Flamey. That was a great try. Simple, though. He's bought just enough time to swing in. Can he deny the plan? He looks like he wants to. The bomb will go down, but it's going to be Electronic to pick up the player that planted it. Yeah, this looks impossible for JW. He's got them all over the site already like a rash. He's already throwing out the Molotov. This seems so misplaced. He's already holding it, but the bullets arrive. Flusher stops it, and just like that, Blink and you miss it, now it feels all Fnatic. It looks so good for Na'Vi, but Electronic can change it. Smooth moves, don't land. Oh, shot from JW through the wall, he connects. Only the P2K, a Molotov, that's something, but JW aggresses. This is chaos. Three HP, Electronic still a chance, has the kit and holding, but oh, the flame, oh, flush oh. up, flush up, flush up, no! And Na'Vi will take it! What was that round? Back and forth. Stacknade's window, Na'Vi are hearing this, they're starting to piece it together, and. Again, it feels like Simple's found another opening pick. How many? Brolin, good work onto the first. It's only an SMG. Boomich can't really challenge that out too well. Three smoking connector and looking to slow things down, but Simple still firing onto all cylinders. Eight now. One minute on the clock here, Simple. This seems to know exactly where they are. Just one step ahead of the opposition. Too fast for his own good there. Still moving when he pulled the trigger. <laughs> and JW will sneak past. Ridiculousness. Bomb for Brolin. Already called all the way to bench, and they do have this slight pincer of flusher on Balk, but there's no trade available. There's a smoke on that balcony. He's trying to play Sneaky Beaver, but instead he gobbles a flash and tries to tuck himself in. And with Flusher's movement, Simple's what? hit his teammate. What? That looked awkward. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be. We'll see if JW has anything to say about it. Okay, he's going to be inside his own head now. So what's the response here? Time ticking away for Fnatic. They do have the bomb at the A-Ram. Has to be the split from the connector. Difficult situation for them considering JW smoked out. Simple hasn't really missed a shot so far. Continues successfully. This is three situation. I think that was enough. Winning the map off the back of it, coming into Mirage hot. Na'Vi hold the lead and look to extend it with nade damage like that. Crimson JW chucked. 
Yeah, Na'Vi starting to look like they're getting it all together right now, just in the nick of time. A different team almost here on Mirage, as Boomish has put so much damage with the HE grenade combo. Not many players would have the audacity to do that. Dropped off before it fades and continues to live on. Opposite could be said for Brolan, though. It's flaming to secure it. You can see he's got his eyes focused on about three different positions at this point, trying to tuck himself in, trying to protect you. But Crims, this is all by design. He knew he'd be there. And now they're going to try and split towards B. Perfecto now, isolated. He has got flaming towards short, I believe. So he will fall back. That's a key shot from Simple there. Up the flush up. If he gets his kill on flaming, we could be onto something. He knows he's there, just waiting for a mistake, but time is ticking away. He's going to have to force the issue. He just doesn't have the time. Perfecto's on the site as well, hoping the Molly would draw Flamey into a slightly wider stance, but he has to leap out. Perfecto nice. should get the trade, though. Eight seconds. Flush is just going to have the bomb in his hands, and Perfecto can win the round. Takes his time, bides it perfectly. Three seconds. Impossible for JW to win this one. And he made sure he was precise. Fair play to Perfecto. Oh, to exactly. just hit Crouch and not make him yep. peep. God, that's scary. They've already found the opening pick. This time, Golden does step up. Boomage. So well timed, waiting for the sound cues, brings it back to a four and four, pretty much guarantees they, they have to go back towards B. That bomb is on the back of Golden right now, and he's actually going back towards T-Spawn. Look at Brolin's position. Whew. Boomich's adventure, as, as effective as it was, has enabled Brolin to really get somewhat of an off angle. I'm not sure Boomich is too prepared for this, especially when paired up with a bit of a ramp presence. Smoke flying through the sky now, courtesy of Crims. Checking the connector. And they're all going to hit at once. Molotov him into the open. Roland strikes, and Fnatic have control of the site. Smoke, it's perfect to at least obscure the view. Simple jumping for info at some point for risk of his own health. Another for Roland, and Fnatic have advantage. They had to change something, and now it's paying dividends. The faster pace towards middle, and Brolan stepping up with that Galil. That's what it took, and sometimes you just have to throw the book out the window and say, right, we need to start hitting some shots here. We need to find that confidence. Someone step up, and trust me, that happens a lot in Counter-Strike. One player will just go, I'm just going to try and get this pick here. I'm just going to try and pick connect by myself. Uh, if everything else has failed, that, that's what your stars have to do. They have to orchestrate these plays. We're not done yet, though. It is going to be a two versus two. Remember, there's no utility on the T side here. Bomb is ticking at some pace. I don't think the CTs will have much time here. Smoking They've got the smoke, though. They're going to smoke here? They're not even going to bomb it. Perfecto. No smoke. Why you not used it? Flamey! He had a kit and a smoke grenade. He sets on it, forgets one of the combo. It's five and six right now. Like, he had five kills in the 30th round of Inferno, but he did save the day, if you remember. Got three kills and simple. He's got a lot more than that. That's going to be his 18th as he picks towards top of middle and successfully removes Brolan, the danger man of the previous round. can consistently find that. This is a desperate play from Golden, just like one of those gut feeling swings, hoping he can take the attention away from your teammates as they made their way towards B. That was pretty much all he had to work with here. The round really is going to fall apart here. It's going to be 10 5, a resurrection in this series from Navi. He'll set up an interesting smoke there towards the jungle position, I believe, and a flashbang as well. Actually, lands in connector. And it's the first shot for Brolan, though. What a hell of a shot it was. And then it's a bit of a ruse, a bit of a fake as they make their way in towards B. Crips oh. to deal with it. And he gets one, damages the second before Perfecto's boots hit the ground. Electronics, the only one for a consolation frag. And the round's over. Back to back pistol rounds for Fnatic. That's the start they were hoping for. Grims is considering it. Charging up so fast. What was that so brazen? I like that because you know you've got a disadvantage the weaponry this round. Good damage from Crims. He's not done holding middle just yet, but I think that might be enough of a warning sign. No, still standing his ground. He wants to trip away at them. Jumping across, he finds the angle, and he's not done at all, Crims! He's completely single-handedly shut down the Na'Vi mid push. All on Crims. Single-handedly winning a round. You don't get that every day. Certainly not with a Famas against a full buy. Yeah, what a brilliant round from Fnatic. That's exactly what they had to do. Knew they were in a tough spot. Grims with four kills. Did he get him off at a time as well? Simple's money. He's here. He did. What? Simple's got no money. No one to provide the smoke, but he hasn't got a flash for them. So they're just going to have to go dry at this. Roland will be seeing what's available, and that's going to be plenty of kills with the free kit. It's going to be simple to answer back, but they're looking to keep the perfect run going here in the second half. 25 seconds remain, and that's another kill for Fnatic. Three versus two. Electronic pulls one back, and Simple is alive as well. Going for an open farm. That's brave, to say the very least. That should be it. Electronic's got his work cut out for him to even find a kill here. Nothing he can do. Just not enough time to piece it all together on the retreat, and that's Crims to convert. Yikes. JW connecting. Boomich gone. I don't think that's a decent amount of smokes here on the A side. Pretty decent work here, but can they actually make them work? They boost one player up towards window. The bomb now in towards Palace on the back of Simple. 
who remember has the AWP. Good shot from Flamey, undetected, and now they're into the round. Here we yeah. go. This looks really nice from Na'Vi. They've managed to piece together a rather beautiful take. The flank, however, could be the fly in the ointment. It's Flusher from behind. Golden tagging nicely into Flamey, but not converting could be a problem. With 14 seconds left, that bomb has to go down, but that pulls Simple out of apartments. And he's been caught a glimpse. Doesn't oh. hit the spray. Flusher converts, and that's the round. That's 14 for Fnatic. One of them has to survive. One down, and Brolin sweaty for a second, and he lives on. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be enough to spur Boomich into a charge. Gets the info, Crims gets away with his life, and JW's hitting more shots. This is looking all too easy, poised and perfect. It's perfecto towards Abs. He's given it his best shot, but Golden takes one before he falls. Well then, Simple, what are you made of, my man? We'll see what he can do here as he jumps down and is going to be just the one. Trying will be setting him up. Gosh, you know, it's one place a shotgun could thrive. It would have been in window, but Flush is holding him. Crims has got another. Admittedly, but they have no grenades and no real firepower. Boomich, he might have thread the needle here. Has to go for a quick kill. That enables him to get a rifle at least. What's it going to be? It's the M4. So a chance here. Could this be their first round? Stolen away by Boomich and the MAC-10. It looks like it could oh. be happening here. Down to the three on two. They actually have the advantage now. Flusher holds towards short, but he's going to be swung from bench, and they've actually done it. They've at least denied the perfect game in the second half. Knowing Golden's attention was drawn elsewhere, but Brolin has just one opportunity now. Right here, right now, be a lot of pressure relieved. If they give this round up, though, they'll start to second-guess themselves. It'll be 15-12 of full eco. That's going to be 15-13 pretty much locked in. Going towards B, the looks of things, and Golden, if you can find the low HP players, there is a chance. He'll need a couple of kills here. His teammate, Brolan, will chime in first. Takes a lot of damage upon arrival here from the T's, but a great shot with that Desert Eagle. There could be a chance yet. Holds patiently for his teammates to arrive. It's low HP perfecto now, and now Brolan. Two on two, joined by Crims as the bomb gets planted. A decent HE grenade. How do you throw it? could have been good. It still can be. Oh, he's got one. It's Crims actually connecting with the scout. Low HP on boom, and she can't hit it. And saving the day. That's twice. Yep. In-game leader for Na'Vi. The AWP for JW. Manufactured nice gap in that window smoke. But that doesn't deter Simple. He still jumps into middle and catches an orc bullet to the chest. Finished off by JW. Crims already onto Boomich, but Electronic, he is not giving up easily. Two swift headshots from either side of middle keeps things level. That could have been it. The orc towards the B apartments, allowing him to anchor that position alone. Golden and Brolan both playing a conservative game of Counter-Strike towards CT Spawn. They have one kit available on the A side of the map and a smoke. Effect has got up towards the window, so he's going to try and dissect this area of the map. The bomb's on the B apartment, so this is where this could be decided. 20 seconds remaining, bomb down. They're so far away, I don't think they can even plan. They have to win this by no. kills at this point. Not like that this. That should be it, Alex. Not I'm with sorry. the clock. Flamey's just That's sitting it. there in the middle. Yeah, oh, he does. GG. Well, it's Play not, the music. Let's go. It's, it's not a... my favorite way to win it. <laughs> but that is it. Fnatic, exceptional. Don't let that, the way it ends, deter you from an ex exceptional Swedish Fnatic side.